Hello, Jamba. Welcome back to my Kenya kitchen down here on the coast. Now, last time I was with you, I showed you some of my low sugar favorite drink options. And today I thought I'd just show you a few of the little snacky things that I travel with and the things that I like to do when I'm at home, but also when I'm away. So when I arrived in Nairobi a couple of weeks ago, one of the first things I did was I headed into a health food shop and I bought some provisions to bring with me. So what did I buy? Well, I brought some whole almonds. So these I always have when I travel um, because they're just great to snack on. You know, they're low sugar, high protein, lots of nice prebiotic fiber, just really good things to have in your bag when you're out and about anywhere. So even in the UK, I'll always have a few almonds about my person. Then, because I love almonds so much, and I'm gonna show you how I make my yogurty kefir breakfast bowl in just a second, I bought some flaked almonds, because these work really well with yogurt. And I also bought some ground almonds. You can tell there's a bit of a theme going on here. Almonds I like because they're high in vitamin E, they taste really good, they're high in protein and they just are a really good addition, I think, to any kind of kefir, yogurt, smoothie bowl. So those two I've got. And then I have some sunflower seeds. And these are also very high in vitamin E and other minerals. And they just give that lovely bit of crunch. You know, you can sprinkle them onto all sorts of things, as I will show you in just a moment. It doesn't have to be sweet. It could be savory soups or salads, just to really get a bit of extra nutrition going. And then last but not least, I bought these little guys, a pack of chia seeds. Chia seeds are the most extraordinary thing. They're very high in protein and all sorts of vitamins and minerals. And what makes them useful also is they swell. So they're very good for the gut. They're very good. They're a good source of prebiotic fiber. Our gut bugs love them. And if you want to feel fuller for longer, sprinkling some chia seeds onto your cereal, onto your porridge, that kind of thing, just helps them expand and they'll expand in your stomach as well. So you get that lovely full feeling. So I brought these with me. And then wherever I am, I'll always try and get some local yogurt that's live. So get the local beneficial bacteria going. I've got some here that was made by a friend. So I'm gonna pop that into my breakfast bowl. But you could use Greek yogurt, you know, anything that's full fat, because that's gonna keep you feeling fuller for longer. And then into that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of kefir, just because this is lovely, quite thick kefir. So it's about really increasing your microbial diversity, having lots of those bifido good gut bugs, lots of protein as well, calcium, that's all in there. And then I'm going to add some of my sprinkles. So I'm going to add good sort of half handful, maybe a little bit more actually, of the flaked almonds. I love those so much. And then a good sprinkling of sunflower seeds. This will be my kind of brunch bowl. And honestly, if I have this, it will keep me full till tea time and beyond. And then a little bit of the ground almonds sprinkled in. If you're making a smoothie drink, you could add these as well, just to give it a bit more body and substance so it keeps you fuller for longer. And then last but not least, I'm going to add my chia seeds. So have those all sprinkled in. Now this is actually quite thick. You can see here, it's quite thick and quite stiff. So I, because I'm going to have the chia seeds in here, I'm not actually gonna eat this straight away. It's actually quite early here. It's just come out of the shower, that's when I've got wet hair to excuse me. Um, I'm actually gonna make this for later. So I'm going to add some milk just because that will help the chia seeds to swell. I'm actually gonna use some soy milk, partly because I happen to have it in my fridge, but also it's higher in protein and it's got uh, phytoestrogens. It's, you know, I actually quite like the taste of soy milk. So mix that all in. And then I'm gonna pop that in the fridge and you'll find that if you use chia seeds, if you go away and leave them after they've been soaking for a bit, everything kind of stiffens up and it turns into kind of more of a pudding texture. So let me just give that a little taste. I mean, you could add things into this, for example, you could add some vanilla extract. I don't have any here, but that would be a really nice thing to add. You could add berries, really delicious. You could add a sprinkling of blueberries, raspberries. Um, mm. 
Oh yeah, that is good. Looking forward to that later. Just a couple of other things I thought I'd share. Things that I travel with. Kind of home from home. You know, when you're traveling, it's nice to take your favorites with you. So this is what I take. I'd love to hear what you take. Earl Grey tea bags. Always have these. So just have them in a jar, a little plastic container here because it's not going to break when I travel. And uh, yeah, wherever I am, if I'm staying with a friend's house, you know, if I say, oh, have you got any Earl Grey tea? You know, the number of times people say, oh no, I can give you, you know, some sort of oolong or English breakfast or builders. And I say, actually, I really love Earl Grey tea. So I've got my Earl Grey tea bags. Marmite, I'm actually a big fan of Marmite. It's a good source of B12, but actually you have to have quite a lot of it to make a big difference to your B12 levels. So a little scraping on your toast, you know, is okay, but it, it may, may not give you enough for the day. Uh, but it's also high in salt, and that's actually a good thing uh, if you need a bit of salt, or if you're sweating a lot, so if you're working out, or I'm here at the coast where it's very humid, and you can actually lose a lot of salt. So I have a little bit of salt um, on my toast later in the day in the form of my Marmite. And then I also love this, HP sauce. Oh my goodness, I rarely eat an egg without HP sauce. I love it. The key ingredient for HP sauce is tamarind. And tamarind is a fruit that grows here on the coast. And it's actually a key ingredient in lots of the Swahili curries. <clears throat> and they, they brought it back, I guess, in the Victorian times, maybe, when they were bringing fruits back from Africa and the West Indies. And do you know why it's called HP? HP stands for Houses of Parliament. So we've got a picture there of the Houses of Parliament on the label. So it's a little literal taste from home every time I look at this. And then last but not least, talking about eggs. <clears throat> I don't travel with these, but sometimes these are useful to have. This is a hard boiled egg. And if you're out and about traveling and you don't think that you're gonna have access to any decent food, you know, it's all going to be kind of junk food or stuff out of a vending machine or whatever. Taking one or two hard boiled eggs with you is a fantastic convenience food. So take this maybe with a little bit of salt and uh, you can just have those on the go wherever you are. They help you to feel full for longer. Nice healthy hit of protein in there as well and no carbs. So they're not going to spike your insulin. Anyway, those are the things that I travel with. Let me know what you travel with. What would you really miss if you were away from home? Would it be the Marmite? Do you, are you a Marmite lover or a hater? Would you take tea bags or would you take, you know, your favourite jam or some kind of sauce? Let me know. I'd love to hear. Pop a comment below. Don't forget to click subscribe if you'd like to see more of these. I'm going to be bringing you more little videos from my times and my travels in Kenya. I hope you are enjoying. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.